Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in the main release channel of Windows 11, along with the process to upgrade to version 24H2. So, without further ado, let's begin. Microsoft is officially releasing the Windows 11 version 24H2 for all users, in order to update to this version. Go to the Windows Update tab in the Settings app, and click on Check for Updates. Here, you will see the option to upgrade to Windows 11 version 24H2, and information related to the update. Click on the Download and Install button, and your PC will start the process of installing the new version. This process may take a while, so you have to be a little patient. After the installation is done, you will have to restart your PC. In order to get the changes to take place, you can also schedule the restart, according to your convenience. Your PC might restart several times during the process. Your PC has now been upgraded to version 24H2. The features and capabilities that you will notice in this version are, firstly, Microsoft has added the support for Wi-Fi 7, which will provide users with better connection speed on the internet. You will see Bluetooth audio enhancements for assistive hearing devices support, which will be available in the Bluetooth and devices tab of the settings app. You will also notice some additional features for Bluetooth connected devices, such as battery status and audio settings. In the quick settings section, you get a scrollable view, with options such as Energy Saver and Live Captions. You can now change the position of the tabs in this section. In the Wi-Fi section, you can notice the new Wi-Fi animation, when connecting to a network. Also a new refresh button has been added in the corner, in order to refresh the Wi-Fi network list. In File Explorer, you get labels for functions like Cut, Copy, Rename share, and delete, you can compress files into different formats according to your choice, without using any third-party software. Microsoft is also adding support for metadata for PNG files, which allows you to add information to your images. There is a new energy recommendation to turn off high dynamic range, this helps to conserve energy on devices that have HDR displays, first go to settings, then system, under power and battery select energy recommendations. You can now share your Wi-Fi password through a QR code to an another device, this is available in network and internet tab, then Wi-Fi, and select show Wi-Fi network password. The company is providing account management notifications in Microsoft Teams and an AI voice clarity feature, which was earlier available for Surface devices, but is gradually being rolled out for everyone. You will also get the sudo command in this version, however the sudo command is disabled by default in Windows 11. To enable it, go to the Settings app, then System. Select for Developers option, and click on Enable sudo. For remote desktop connections, the company provides users with enhanced connection and accessibility. You get new account manager layout on the start menu page. The task manager also gets some improvements in the performance and the settings page.
There are some features that are exclusive only for Copilot Plus PCs like, first on the list is, Co-Creator, which is a new feature in the Microsoft Paint app, that allows you to create amazing artwork with the help of AI. You can enter a text prompt and start drawing on the paint canvas, and Co-Creator will generate beautiful artwork based on your input as you draw. Next is the Windows Studio FX, that allows you to add the enhancements to your camera like, automatic framing, portrait light, eye contact, background effects, creative filters, and voice focus. Automatic Super Resolution seamlessly integrates with Windows on a Copilot Plus PC, to automatically enhance a set of existing games by default, and boosts frame rates while maintaining detailed visuals. Last but not the least, Image Creator which uses a text-to-image model, to turn the text you've entered into a series of images based on this description, Restyle Image uses a sketch-to-image model, using the text prompt you entered or selected, to create the style, and apply it to your selected photo. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.